a friend of mine, we were cracking a joke about being gingers or some shit like that, and he was like, yeah, you, you, that's who you are, bro. You're South African, you're African, and you're ginger, you're African ginger. And I thought it was super funny, and I was like, cool, I'm going to make that my handle because it's nothing too serious. It's just Instagram. Fast forward nine years later, and now it's like a, a brand. <laughs> African ginger is like a multidisciplinary artist who works both digitally, traditionally, does a lot of creative direction, and... and um, yeah, just an all-round creative, I guess. I was like five, you know, I was five, and uh, it's a pretty wild one, but 9-11 um, happened, and I was at in creche or something, and we had to like draw how it made us feel, and I drew this like really fucking terrible art piece, and um, my creche teacher liked it. She put it like on the wall with like a gold sticker on it, and I was, since then I was like, damn, that, that, that's a nice feeling. I want to feel like that all the time. So I just kept drawing and drawing and drawing and yeah, here I am. Uh, it depends on the location, but I would say the person that had a big influence on me as a teenager and as a young adult was definitely Jean-Michel Basquiat. Uh, definitely Basquiat, um, a little bit of Keith Haring, but Keith Haring was more my illustrative stuff. Um, also guys like um, Kim Jong-ji, um, James Jean specifically, I think especially when I was an illustrator. I don't think that there's a lot of conversations, I think in context of South Africa when it comes to mental health. I think only within our generation, it's something that's kind of been acknowledged and you know conversed over. But I think looking at our parents' generation and their parents' generation, a lot of our own inner anguishes were kind of like repressed and not dealt with, considering we had such a traumatic past in context of apartheid, you know, Using art as a vocal, as a tool to vocalize mental health is the most important thing. And, I, and I'm glad it's becoming a present and prevalent conversation that the most important thing I'm trying to focus on is like my own identity and context of the world. Also like the identity of people around me or people that are close to me and how they relate to the world and how the world relates to them. So yeah, become like a tool or a voice for people that felt that they could never vocalize their inner anguishes, you know? I've had two solo exhibitions. I've exhibited in like LA, New York, Berlin, France, Paris. I've, I've had shows across, you know, different spaces. But with Usurpa, this di online digital, well, not online, but this physical digital gallery, um, I'm afforded the opportunity to exhibit my illustrations and not just as prints, but as digital assets, animations, stuff that works, that moves, uh, for the whole premise of it being the first uh, digital online, well not online, but digital print, like physical NFT gallery. I think I have like a lot of anxiety when it comes to posting my work. Like I have a lot of insecurities with my work and a lot of insecurities about the stuff I make. Um, a lot of the times now, especially lately, I've been trying to create work that's a bit more palatable as opposed to creating work that was just experimental so it is a bit of anxiety. Also, like, there's certain themes and conversations that I always want to, like, address when it comes to making my art. <laughs> but when I share it online, I, I get the sense of, like, fuck, maybe no one's ready for this conversation yet. Just keep on moving and just keep sharing your work and keep creating work that you feel is good for yourself. And, yeah, I mean, I need to practice this because I'd be giving 10 fucks, man. <laughs> but, yeah, seriously, just, just don't give a fuck, you know?